Hi and welcome to my new video. Today I will show you why from time to time, so more exactly why when you define some function in your filter, the predicate push down is not applied. So to take, to illustrate this uh, example, I'm using uh, an Apache Parquet data. And you can also discover more details on the predicate push downs on the blog post link, linked just below this video. But anyway, for, for the demo, I will check it with Parquet and show you why for my specific use case, the predicate push down will be applied once and will not be applied in the second job. Again, to start very simple data set with three columns. And uh, so yeah, the, the number, the values are not very important, it's more the type. So I have two strings and one timestamp. The first time I will use this code and show you that Apache Spark will predicate push down on top of this creation date column, which is of the timestamp type. So I will just run a sample select with filter and show you the execution plan and also the rows that corresponds to this filter logic. So the first thing is the rows, maybe the last, but the thing that you can see at first is the B row and as you can see is the single one that was created in 2022. But the most important part is this query execution plan and more exactly this pushed filters information where you can find what are the filters from your query that are sent directly to the data source. So for me, it is not null for creation date and greater than or equal to creation date to this time. And of course, as you can deduce from this plan, Apache Spark will take these filters and apply them directly on top of the data source at reading. So it will pass them to the data source at reading instead of taking all data from the data source and applying the filter on top of Apache Spark. Of course, it's very nice to reduce the volume of the data you have to process and save some network costs for the transfer, obviously. That was the first code. And let's just take a look at the second one. And in the second one, it's very similar, except that instead of comparing timestamps, I will compare the strings. And this time, when you will we will analyze the plan after execution. You will see that the predicate push downs are half empty compared to the previous plan because among the pushed filters, we don't have, we have, it's, it's totally empty, of course. It was a, a misspell uh, previously. There is no filters pushed, but the result is correct. So why the filters aren't pushed here? Let me just rerun this code, but this time in debug mode. And this will show you the place that is responsible for saying to Spark, hey, this filter can be pushed down or hey, Spark, this filter, you have to execute it by yourself. So the code is running and we have already arrived to this push down filter method that tries to detect the filters to push down to the data source. And now we are translating these Apache Spark filters to the data source filters. So this is the pushable column voice is the key class for, for, for the detection, whether the filter can be pushed down or not. And the first thing is to check whether uh, the column exists on the data set. And since Apache Parquet data source supports the nested column predicate, push down predicate, since I think 3.1 or 3.2, I don't remember anymore, but at least it's from Apache Spark 3. And we are going to this, um, this extraction. And this extraction checks whether the filter expression has a column, so as a sample attribute or a structure, 
and if it's not the case it means that we cannot consider this filter as pushable so let's see what the, uh, is our attribute so it's a creation date which is a sample attribute and what happens later for the creation date greater or equal to now we are in the same case but this attribute is not anymore a sample attribute is a cast expression so it's neither an attribute or nor the get struct field so we see we will our land at none and generally that's the reason why in this translation method called by the predicate patch down tran a function we will find out that there is no push pushed filters and that all these filters has to be executed post scan meaning that after scanning the data source source of course on apache spark site so as you can see the reason is very simple for that not pushed down filter it's just this expression that transforms the the type of the input column of course as you saw before we can do the same very the same filter with timestamp types by keeping the original one the original types and just that's, that's the key takeaway of this uh, short demo and the blog post which is linked just below so always try to understand what you are doing with the filters if you have to call some specific function because of as you saw here it can invalidate the push down even though the data source supports it pretty well like for example in apache parquet where you can use a, you can apply this interesting feature on top of top level and nested columns it was bartosz kinesz for thanks for watching